gentlemen, motherfuckers from Miami. What the f is going on? I'm checking in on live right now. How y'all doing at home? I hope y'all warming up out there at the crib. Well, I know I seen on the news it was f up. Oh, it's supposed to be f up again tonight. I'm not coming back to Houston. I don't know when I'm coming back to Houston. Guess what happened, mother? You junkie motherfuckers and uh, jinx me. That's what they that Fat Joe video, I think. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, you junkie motherfuckers and jinx me. Hating because I left the city because I know not to get stuck in no crazy. Them motherfuckers, my motherfuckers pipe in my ceiling bust and flooded out my crib again. So my whole crib is flooded from upstairs to downstairs. My brother sent a uh, video yesterday. That gonna be over 100,000 in, in repairs. I'm still on the motherfucking beach not giving a f because you know what? I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. And I don't give a damn about no material sh I'm so happy I left because I would've really looked dumb with no electricity, no water, and my shit flooded. That was God woke me up and said, get the hell out of here, Slim. Move around. So, I'm glad I'm in Miami. I deal with that bullshit when I get back. I feel like God telling me it's time to get the fuck off the south side and go back to the north where you belong, king of the north. So, I'm finna move the fuck out of Paraland after I fix my shit. And I'm going back to what I know. You feel me? I'm going back to the downtown or to the north. Y'all, south side mother have that you must I got something going on it's either a flood or it's too cold or some other shit. man I'm going back to where it's safe on the out be sure to like comment and subscribe y'all keep warm out there man pay for insurance and you all never have to give a about this type of I know I paid for my insurance so I know them folks gonna have to pay for that and give me all this money I've been paying every month for today back so I'm happy about that I don't let this material get to me I go get me an apartment downtown and start over fresh. I feel like God telling me it's time to do something new. That's how you gotta look at like redirection. Whenever something don't go like you wanted to go, it go. It means it's time to make another move. God saying, Slim, that house cool, but you too com you too comfortable in that motherfucker. Time to get the f out of there and get something better. So I'm gonna do that. You feel me? Y'all got one more day. What's today? Wednesday. Yeah, Thursday supposed to be up I read then I'm coming back Friday when the shit get warmer because I sure can't come back and find no room or nothing in these times but at the end of the day man like my post say tough times don't last we all last all right shalom all praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai Baha Shem Rekah HaKadash double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth who rule well teach well with much, with much diligence <coughs> Excuse me. Peace, love, and salutation unto the whole four lake. Kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth. Likewise, uh, shalom to the sisters and uh, little ones who are also listening and learning, who are also of the elect and hopes of mercy. And Yahweh Shah is returned. Well, I'm on back here with another uh, in transit, number 14, going home, almost home. And um, as you, uh, brothers and sisters, saw in the opening clip, you know, uh, was it uh, Slim Thug? We got two out there in Texas, Slim Thug and uh, Bun B. You know, uh, well, mainly Slim Thug, you know, describing his situation, how in Texas it's, it's flooded out, all these people are suffering. But it's bad, it's bad out in Texas right now. You know, it's, it's bad out there. And you celebrities and, and, and all those that has not feared or is not fearing Yahweh by Shem Shai is not exempt from this judgment. All right, just because you escape to one state and go to the next, you, you're not going to escape the Lord's judgment. All right, because uh, there's another clip, little one, I put in a post production. Um, chop it, chop it up, make it clean. Um, a woman described. Hey, you guys, real quick.
I'm asking you guys all to share this long and wide. I don't care. Let it reach the White House, the Black House, the Crack House. Let it reach somewhere, okay? This is day number five. Day number five in this hotel. And yes, I'm grateful to be in warm. Yes, I'm grateful to be in, indoors. Yes, I am. But I, I would be even more grateful if we could be at our houses. I would be even more grateful if my neighbors were not still sleeping in their cars and, and trying to keep warm. I would be more grateful. So I'm here to tell you what's going on in Texas. This is an update. And I need y'all to share this long and wide, okay? We have been without power in Texas. Our power is being controlled um, by Ep Epcot. I believe that's the name. ERCOT. Our, our power is being controlled. So everybody's lights is not out in Texas. Houston, Dallas, everybody's lights are not out in Texas. But they have randomly selected who is going to be without lights and who will. We have been Five days without lights. No, we don't come from the poor community. No, we are not, you know, receiving handouts or any of that. Not to say that there's nothing wrong with those who do, but we are not. We stay in a middle class area. We are paying hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars every month for uh, for people from Ep Ep Encore and Epcot to come out and read our meters. Okay, so there should be no reason why we have been without power for five days, okay? There is no gas here. They are trying to kill us, y'all. I need y'all to share this long, strong, and wide. They are trying to kill us. We don't have food. The shelves are empty. The restaurants don't have trucks delivering food to them. And, and some of them are not even allowed to be open because of the power usage that they will use. Okay, so we have that problem. We also have the water problem now, you guys. The water is contaminated because the pipes, the power went out and the pipes are frozen. And so now we have contaminated water. We have contaminated water. We don't have water in the stores on the shelves. We have contaminated water now, okay? So that's another issue. We don't have gas. For those that have left the comfort of their homes or the coldness, excuse me, the freezing climax of their homes to sit in their cars to try to get a little bit warm, now we don't have gas. There's a gas shortage. Why? Because trucks are not being allowed to come in here. We cannot receive blankets or anything from people wanting to just donate blankets. We cannot receive those things. Why? Because they have been told that they cannot deliver here in Dallas, Texas. That's where I'm reporting from and in Houston as well, okay? So we have that issue. We don't know what day our lights are going to come back on. They're saying that they don't know what day our lights are going to come back on. So we have that issue. So now we don't have water. We don't have power. We are still freezing. Snow is still frozen on the ground, so we are still freezing. We don't have food. We don't have a way out. How is Ted Cruz on an airplane to Cancun, Mexico, and we can't get out of here? They are ticketing folks that are on the road because the road is dangerous. So how is he able to catch a flight out of here? Okay? They are trying to kill us. No food. The basic essentials. Food. Heat, warmth, water, we don't have that. Gas, resource, we don't have that. Power, we don't have that. And I need the news people to know, good morning America, all those people that like to broadcast news, I need them to hear it from somebody that's real live and active in the situation and not from what's being reported because what's being reported is a lie. And for all of those that are going around sharing that FEMA's paying for rooms, when you call that number, it's a porn site. When you call that number, it's a technical, uh, uh, technical, uh, uh, you know, where they help you fix technical issues. So that is a lie. FEMA ain't doing anything. Where is Joe Biden? Where is the president of the United States? And no, this ain't about politics, but you the president. You haven't even addressed it. Where is Kamala Harris? None of them have addressed that people are out here in Texas dying. This is an attack. Okay? There is nothing else other than this but an attack. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end the live, and I'm going to start another one so I can show y'all live and direct from here in Dallas. Not what you're hearing on the news because they lying. They said that they have a right to control who gets power and who doesn't. Who's critical. That's what they say. We're determining who's critical and who's not. We have not had power in five days. I have two twin girls, 15-month-old, that cannot be in shelters and in homes around everybody else because she was injured at the hospital. So she just got off a of heart medication. The devil is a liar. You know what I'm saying? 
What I'm saying is, without a fight, we better come together and we better stick together and we better raise up and we better sound the alarm. Why? Because they are trying to kill us. And for all of those that are looking from the outside, what's going on in Texas, be soon because they're coming near to you. In California, they're already talking about rolling blackouts. In different parts of the state, they're already talking about rolling blackouts, okay? So I'm telling you right now, Pizza Hut don't even have enough. I went to Pizza Hut yesterday, ordered 30 pizzas so we can feed the people in the hotel rooms. The hotels are price gouging. I went outside and talked to a person that was leaving. I said, did your power come back on? They said, no, but we can't stay here. We paid a thousand dollars in five days for a room that allowed people to come out and let their dogs poop and urinate. It's unsafe. And the warming centers, let me say this in closing, the warming centers that they're telling everybody that they can go to, the warming centers are asking you, have you been vaccinated? Oh, and one more thing, don't let me forget this. You know how we, we've been made to stand in lines, even in freezing temperature when your skin is falling off, where you are developing hypothermia uh, uh, within five to ten minutes, okay? We are made to stand outside because we can't go inside the stores all in, collectively because of COVID, but we can all gather together in the warming uh uh, centers. We can gather together. We can do that there. We can gather together in the hotel rooms. That's not a problem. But you know why you can't gather in, inside of Walmart and you can't, you got to stand in those long lines? Because even in the midst of all of this, they still got CDC officials uh, finding the people if they are over capacity. They still want the six feet rule in place. They still want to I said a pandemic. They trying to kill us out here. If you want to see the information, because I want y'all to share this. You know, I know everybody got a microwave mentality. They want you to say what they want you to say in five minutes or less. So here go your five minutes. Share that. Share that. Tell them Dr. Tawana Worlds is in Texas, live on the ground, been delivering food and blankets and everything else. We ain't got no generators. People that have been using gas generators, guess what? They don't have no gas. So that means more people will freeze. And, and, and the National Guard is supposed to be coming through to do welfare checks. Do you know how much, how high the death rate will go up once they do the welfare checks? Now, if I show y'all these next videos and these next pictures that I'm getting ready to show y'all, and you see that the way stuff is frozen in their house, if you don't believe that people is dead in there, then something's wrong with you. I'm telling you right now, I'm asking you right now, I'm asking you right now. This is bigger than, than, than black or white or red and blue and politics and Dems and lefts. This is bigger than that. This is bigger than that. And I have been sounding the alarm and warning the people for quite some time, but now it's here upon us. Too late for shoulda, coulda, woulda. Now it's time for us to do something for one another. It's time for us to come together, build our own stuff. We ain't got no food. They put a red flag yesterday and said after all the snow melt, then they'll access the damage. We ain't got no food, y'all. There ain't no water. There ain't no clean water. They say boil the water, but how can you boil the water with no power? How can you boil the water if you're using gas uh, 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 appliances to, to stay warm? How could you boil the water? They trying to kill us, y'all. I'm telling y'all, share it with everybody. Where's Beyonce? Where's Where's all these people? Where's all these uh, 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 Black Lives Matter? Where are they at? Tag them. Please do something. Tag Joe Biden. Tag all of them. Tag Kamala. Tag everybody. Tag all of these officials that got us divided against one another while they're in their warm houses and people are dying. Yes. This was a pandemic. This was planned. And the reason why we without power is not because the storm put the power out. The reason why we are without power is because they choose and pick and choose who going to get power so that they can save their grid. Ain't that something? So you would rather die to save your grid. Well, it could be worse. If the whole grid go out, it could be worse. Everybody could be in dark. But you know what? Let's take that chance because it's going to get a whole lot worse that you guys kill people on your watches. You kill people. I'm signing up for lawsuits. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to stay tuned. Follow me because I'm reporting everything. I'm reporting everything. I'm going to risk whatever my life, whatever, to report everything. People going to know the truth. So I'm asking y'all to share this long and wide. Pray for me. Pray for my husband. Pray for my children. Pray for my family. Pray. Pray. Oh, and the church leader said, one, one, one pastor was bold enough out here. I think his church is called Full Gospel. Uh, 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 full gospel church out in Dallas, Texas. He said, regardless of the CDC, uh, uh, guidelines, I'm willing to take that risk to let y'all come here and warm up. Cause you know, with the warming shelters, you can come there and get warm, but you can't spend a night. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? I've been asking y'all to donate.
They ain't letting blankets and none of this stuff come in. Why? Because we on the ground. We trying to help who we can. What's happening in, uh, in, uh, in Texas too, and she also said it's coming for, it's, it's, uh, what's happening in Texas is aimed for LA because they're going to do uh, power outages pretty soon. Okay, um, blackouts, and it's and, and it's about to go on. The lights is about to be shut off, and people about to be running to the stores for the, to the generators, and the food is about to be off the shelves. All right, pretty soon. It's just only a matter of time right now. Why, why, what we see right now happening in Texas, it's not something that's just gonna end in one day or a week. They're talking about not keeping the lights on or, or turning the power back on for months, man. Okay. So this we we're entering into the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Esau is is purposely, you know, uh, killing Jake, man. All right, because he's purposely he's purposely killing Jake. Okay, he he's doing what he, he he's doing what he got to do right now, man. He he wants this this new world order to pass. He wants you people vaccinated. Uh, Mac, let me stop saying that too, man. That's another thing. It's hard for me to get a video of because I mentioned. I mentioned, uh, you know, you mentioned these uh, names, I uh, say, and they strike you because Esau is watching and Esau is listening. And he's trying his best to keep the information uh, uh, not as accessible and, and, and not the truth being told. Because why? A family in the word is also in the progress. So it ain't, it, it's, hey man, the, the time is now. Time is running out. The script, Yahweh was trying to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. The Lord coming back with two rewards. A reward for the righteous and a reward for the wicked. And right now we are in a, we are in a grace period. We still, we, that, but we still in this grace period, but the Lord is, 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 is speeding this thing up. All right, okay? The plagues are hitting this place. The Lord said, Behold, I sent plagues upon the world. Second Andrews 15. Death, destruction, uh, sword, pestilences. You you got an outbreak going up going on in uh Gehenna in the Congo. Two different parts of the uh, of the content breaking out. People are dropping dead. Uh Ebola's back on the scene, man. You know, this thing died died down in 2016, but now it's it's it's, it's all broken again. Okay, so Esau is going full flesh with this thing, man. Okay, and there, um, I forgot where it was at. Um, I believe it's Australia. Uh, they're uh, Australia um, next week. They're 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 talking about mandatory vaccine, mandatory mac vaccinations, man. Okay, next week. Okay, the Australian citizens. That's why it's the spirit. Why uh, how to, how Mark Zuckerberg um, can, uh, canceled. Facebook uh, from the news media of, of, of what's about to go down in Australia, man, because it's about to go down. It's it's already happening, but much more on a larger scale. And, and over, it's going to touch over here, too. But right now, the Lord is systematically breaking this thing down. The, uh, more earthquakes is going to happen. More power outages. It's not, man. Hey, man. Yahweh Shimiao Shai is on his way. Yahweh Shimiao Shai is on his way. And he's coming to save us. He coming to save us. All right, it's going, man. Esau can think that uh, by, by sealing us out, sieging us, trapping us out, thinking he going to starve us and all that. But the elect has a way out of this, man. That's one thing he, 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 he his plan is going to get interrupted with. You, you can try to do whatever you want, Esau, but you can't touch the elect. The scriptures say uh, the hands of the souls of the just are in the hands of the most high, and there shall no evil torment touch them. Although they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Our hope is full, <coughs> full of the riches of Yahweh by Shimiao Shai. This is what we've been laboring for, Akyan Wakwaf. Like, what the world, the beginning of sorrows, like Bumby, talking about, oh, I'm sad. Yeah, people out there are suffering, man. These are the beginning of sorrows. As I do this video, people, day, day, day eight, you know, uh, in there trying to warm in their cars, getting, getting, um, getting, um, um, getting smugged out by all that carbon dioxide and all that, that fume coming from uh, burning a, uh, when you're in your car too long, man, especially in your garage, man, you know, got people, you know, just dying, man, trying to stay warm. 
and, 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 and it just showed you how they had an article how weak America's infrastructure is just in case a, um, a power grid was to go out because Esau is weak man built like the old Rome man okay your, your power grid let, so let a, uh, you, we see what's happening in Texas man you know so hey man this, this thing is man it's, it's only a matter of time before it continues this thing is going to accelerate okay but us Akiyan Walk Walk we're in the best position seeing all this and Jake is still out there the two thirds of our people still in this whole weird weird spirit man and, and, and want to take vaccines, man. Not ready to go up against the opposition, man. You know, how long... You, 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 you Jake's, man, trusting in the arm, man. We're going to see. That time, hey, man. The time is coming. The time is, is, is here, man. Esau is serious, man. And it's funny how all these states... You got New York. You got uh, L.A. They're moving fast with the vaccine. But when you go to other states like Arizona, okay, uh, 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 all these other states, things may not be uh, so-called happening, so-called in your area, but it's going to happen, man, because the Lord said, um, as the days of Noah were, so shall the Son of Man be, because just because one plague is happening over here, that don't mean it's going to spread to the to the rest, man, because everybody's stuck in their own bubble and still thinking America's going to do this, we just got to... We, we got to wait and see you know, what, what will happen, man. Ain't shit happen for you, Jake's here, man. Ain't nothing going on. Ain't nothing has good happen for us, man. When you when you, when you look at this, man, what has America taught us to be as, as far as survivalists, man? Have to build to build up. Ain't taught us nothing, man. This is our only way out of, of us knowing this knowledge, man, of repenting. Fearing our Lord and power, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Hoping for those new bodies, hoping for that new change. This is what we waited for, new heavens and a new earth. This shit that's coming, it's all going to pass away. You know, excuse my language, but it's all going to pass away and we got better days ahead of us. The world is, 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 is in shitty times right now. But we, the elect, we, Lord, when we are those men, we got the best thing going. All right? We, we satisfied seeing the things that are happening in the earth. You got people talking about, oh, I wish the old days would come. You know how it was. And you, you got kids killing themselves. That's how uh, these are the beginning of sorrow. We're not just reading this. This is happening. This is happening before our eyes. Okay? And the world is still in la-la land. But th that's how the Lord set this thing up. And it's going to happen. Because the Yahweh Shimei Aoshai said it was going to happen. Okay? But, um, yeah, I'm going I'm to just pause it there. But things are happening in the earth. And Esau, he's, he's strategically moving on Jake, man. He's using that heart. All right? Uh, pumping up the wind. Pumping up the, wet, uh, the, the rain and the snow. You know, manipulating the heck out, out of our heavens, man. So the Lord sees us, man, and, he, and the Lord is going to send uh, Yahweh Shai and come and, and, and get us, man. The, the mystery of iniquity is being revealed right now. All right? Our people are starting to wake up and see them that this man is the devil, man. Okay? This man uh, ain't giving us water. It's parasites in the water out there in Texas. Okay? Who knows how, how, how man, it's about to get bad, man. That's all I can say. The scriptures don't say for uh, no reason in the midst of these evils be as pilgrims on the earth because they don't have no gas coming in no food coming in can you imagine that happening in your state where you at so these are the times that if this word is hitting you man if you if you if you're not thinking if this word is hitting you and you are israelite man you need to repent all right and, and fear your how about shimmy how shy because he's about to send his son and, and, and gather his elect and save those that are chosen from what's about to happen. We want miracles. The world is going to, exp going to need a miracle in that day. But the Lord ain't going to give it to them. Okay? Because they didn't trust them before these things happened. You know? They wasn't worried about them then. As the scriptures say in the time of liberty, they despised the Most High. 
So since you despised him when you had liberty, he's going to despise you. Okay? So us right now, our hope being wine is for those miracles. Because that which is impossible with men is possible with the Most High. And I love to quote that scripture because we're going to need things that are above our imagination to happen. Okay? We want, we want food to appear out of nowhere when we might be on a run or whatever it may be. Calling from calling on Yahweh by Shimei Shai from the heavens. This is what this is what the prophet Elijah did. This is what Yahweh Shai did. This is what the prophets did, man. The disciples, man, performing miracles. This is what we're waiting on. But this to the world, that's oh, that's fantasy. Oh no, I need mine. You know, it sounds strange to the world, as the scriptures say. Um, to the uh, to the to the Jews, we we preach. Uh, uh, foolishness or something like that I can't really remember it but we got better days coming that's the point you know and, and our days are ahead man Yahweh by Shai is on his way you know so call Allah Yahweh by Shai Yahushai Bahashim Kodash double honors unto my elders and apostles of great millstone who have taught me this truth true who, who will teach well with much diligence peace love and salutation unto the hopeful let kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth and hopes and mercy and Yahweh Shai's return, and likewise, Shalom to his sisters and the little ones who are also of the elect. Shalom, Shalom.